A six foot three, 240 pound fullback, a position the Mustangs were heavy at when Jamie arrived, his overwhelming individual talent made it obvious from day one that the Mustang coaching staff had to find a way to get him to play. Possessing a 4640, a 400 pound bench press, and legendary athleticism and power, Jamie was obvious choice from the plethora of fullbacks to make the transition to the offensive guard spot. He'd never played O-line in his life, but Jamie would soon become one of the best ever. A perfect fit for Western's fullback trap series, his combination of speed, size, and quickness was instrumental in busting holes for Blake Marshall's run for the Heck Brighton Trophy. In his freshman year, head coach Larry Haler said it was so unusual to see a guard out in space so athletic, just obliterating people. In 1985, Harris was part of the championship team that defeated Laurier in the Yates Cup and then captured the Atlantic Bowl, destroying Mount Allison 34-3. He earned a berth with his team to the Vanier Cup game. Harris was honored as a first-team OUA All-Star, a feat he would repeat the following year. In his third and final year, the Mustangs went undefeated through the regular season on their way back to the Yates Cup game. Another Atlantic Bowl title led them to their second consecutive appearance in the Vanier Cup, which they lost in a heartbreaker 25-23 to UBC. Drafted in the third round by the CFL in 1987, the BC Lions quickly switched Terrace back to fullback, a position he would play with the Lions for the next four years. In the 1989 season, he pulled in 13 receptions for 185 yards. In the end, it would be the O-line position that would make Jamie a CFL legend. All told, in a career that spanned 16 seasons, Terrace, now back on the O-line, would become a four-time Western All-Star, a three-time CFLPA All-Star, and a two-time CFL All-Star. Twice, he was awarded the Beckett Memorial Trophy as the most outstanding lineman in the West. And in 1999, he was named the most outstanding Canadian player in the West. As a BC Lion, Jamie was two-time Grey Cup champion in 1994 and the year 2000. A team captain, he was awarded the Fred Dietrich Memorial Trophy four times for his inspirational play. The Laurie Nimmy Lineman of the Year Award four times was given the Gord Barwell Award as an exemplary Christian character in 2001 and was their Humanitarian of the Year. Recognized by the league for his outstanding play and community involvement, Jamie received the prestigious Tom Pate Award in 1999. Upon retirement in 2003, Jamie was voted to the BC Lions All Dream Team and is only one of eight former Lions whose number is retired in the Ring of Fame. Now the Director of Community Relations with the BC Lions, Taris epitomizes leadership both on and off the field. As his former head coach Larry Haler once said, Jamie is one of my all-time favorite kids. I don't know if we ever had a better person playing for us. Jamie Taris, a Mustang legend.